hands. Good. And then just come back this way. Wonderful. It's the only camera you don't have to smile for. But despite her sinus headache and jaw pain, Michelle Vespi found herself smiling anyway. I'm not crazy that this pain is real. Michelle is excited she found out about thermography. This digital infrared camera detected the areas of increased inflammation in her sinuses and jaw, all without any radiation exposure. So we can look for inflammation in any given area of the body. Um, and that's really what the camera's picking up is inflammation. Experts say thermography offers an entirely different approach to health care because it can catch disease in its early stages. That means there's still time to make the kind of lifestyle changes that can help reverse it. Christine, is it true that a thermogram can tell us, can a thermogram tell us exactly what's going on or um, could it be that the person's just having some, I don't know, an infection for instance? Sure, it's, it's, it's a tool to see areas of concern. So it's going to bring, as a practitioner, it's going to bring my attention to a certain area. If you have an infection going on, for example, sinus infections is something we see right away. Um, dental infections we see right away. Um, that's going to tell me, hey, and I, I really do have to speak to the patient and say, is there something going on in that area? I may even need them to go to the dentist and bring the thermogram to really get the dentist tuned into that one area to do some, you know, it's detective work. It helps guide us in our detective work, really. Hi, welcome back. We're continuing our discussion on thermography as a screening tool for all kinds of chronic health problems. I'm here with Dr. Danielle Roberts and Christine Blanche of the Integrative Healing Center in Port Washington. Um, Christine, for some people this may be the very first they've heard that thermography can be used for something other than breast cancer detection. Give me an idea of some of the things that you've been using it for. Sure, absolutely, Mary. Um, you know, there's a full body, there's a range that we could just do one body part with the breasts all the way up to a full body and everything in between. So there's a women's panel, there's a men's panel. Um, the head and neck is very telling. We see a lot of um, sinus inflammation. Good, um, in the neck way. we can see carotid artery disease. Really? So if there's a lot more inflammation on the right than the left, then we're going to have to look at that patient's risk factors and say maybe we need to send them for a carotid duplex and find out the measurement of what's going on in that carotid as far as blockage goes. Um, I think that in as physicians and, and practitioners, our time that we're allowed to spend with patients, the doctor's time spent has been diminished. So a lot of the physical exam, very commonly I'll listen to a uh, patient's carotid artery and the patient will say, what are you doing that for? That nobody, why has nobody ever done that to me? And that's the physical exam portion of how to tell if you have a concern in the carotids. So shorter patient's time, shorter exam, and, and these tools are very valuable because then we can screen and we can say, let's send you for carotid Doppler. Let's look and see at that carotid artery before there's a stroke or a TIA or something serious like that. Yeah. Okay, might it also prevent someone from having to go for more invasive tests? Absolutely. Um, I have, well very frequently I have patients come in that have been to, you know, several, several physicians really not feeling good, um, but not getting the answers. And they'll come in and, and just recently I had a woman who, when I showed her all the inflammation in her body, she broke down into tears um, because it was really the first time that there had ever been objective proof of what she was actually feeling in her body. Now she had had MRIs and CAT scans and nobody could really pick that up for her. So it was very um, validating because um, you start to feel like, hey, maybe this is in my head. Um, so mm. that was a really powerful moment for that woman, really exceptional. Actually, we have a graphic of a man who spent three years trying to figure out why he had leg pain. Turned out he had phlebitis. Sure. And uh, here it is. Yeah. Um, and I guess, does the yellow indicate anything or is it just the red we're looking at? It's all inflammation. So you can see the blue is, is kind of normal for this gentleman. And you can see the yellow, the red, and the white are areas of inflammation, the white being the hottest. So that was probably the highest point of intensity right there. Um, and that is a really good example of um, inflammation within a blood vessel. It's similar to what we would see in the carotid arteries. Um, we can even see decreased um, circulation to the extremities in diabetics and, and people with conditions like mm -hmm. that. So it's very valuable. I mean, the fibrocystic breast disease, I think, is one of the most pertinent examples of how powerful thermography can be. Because when women come in, they, they may not even be aware that there is an issue going on in their breasts. And we see this pattern that's consistent with it. Um, and then we educate them when we have them get good vitamin D and you know um, anti-inflammatory herbs, shift their diet, maybe detoxify. Um, and they come back three months later and they see the change they made in their breast. 
adding iodine can be a profound tool for patients who have fibrocystic breasts and then they know they've done something they've done it reduced their risk for breast cancer and it's it shifts it from fear which I think a lot of women go into their yearly mammograms afraid um, anybody who grew up on Long Island has this little fear in, in the back of their mind, but we try to take that fear and shift it into empowerment yeah. um, and really use that tool to say, hey, look at these small changes you made and look at the change you made in your body and you have, without a shadow of a doubt, decreased your, decreased your risk for breast cancer. Yeah. That's powerful for women. And then they kind of go, I did that? Okay, I can do this. And they just, they just keep going and it's really, really, really wonderful. <laughs>